guys, on this video I'm going to show you how to run a module or an exploit directly from Exploit Pack. So basically, uh, so you have the tabs here, you can select exploit and utilities, and then once you select one of your exploits or your module, you will see that on the bottom, the, uh, this, this is going to change, the legend of it is going to change, and it says execute auxiliary, and if you go into exploits, and then select one, you see it's changing into execute exploit. So uh so first of course select your explorer or your module and then after that you need to fill in the target properties as required uh, as required on your on your exploit itself so on this particular exploit i don't have any requirements besides the target so uh, once the exploit is selected i can the the only shellcode type that i ha i can select is execute code so that's the only one that i have and then i will because this is a skeleton exploit right so then let's say I'm gonna I'm gonna choose run it against my own machine, and then I will choose say execute exploit. New exploit deployed. And of course it will fail because I don't have anything uh, listening to that one. So the exploit uh, you you can see it here the, on their application log. So on your console, uh, so this is the output message from the exploit. Say buffer overflow. This is uh, this is coming from the exploit itself, and then error running exploit within exploit connection close because the exploit just failed against uh, my own local host. Um, then you can see the, the execution of the modules on the log itself uh, under the application log as well, and and that's it, guys. So. That's how you run an exploit or a module from Exploit Pack. So you fill in the target properties, you select the exploit or the module, and then you click execute. That's it. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.